Welcome to Lesson 3 Homework. This is Module 5 of Grade 3. Please get your name on here first. Each shape is a whole divided into equal parts. Name the fractional unit and then count and tell how many of those units are shaded. The first one's done for you. So here's our example. There's one, two, three, four equal parts. So it's fourths and two fourths are shaded. This uh, bar here is one, two, three, four, five. So there's five parts, so they are fifths. And four fifths shaded. This is one, two, three, four, five, six equal pieces. So these are sixths, which is the most difficult fraction to pronounce. Sixths. And we see there's one, two, three of them shaded. So three sixths shaded. And here we have halves. They're not tooths, they're halves. And there are zero halves shaded. And the idea for this is that you're you're not you're counting all of the parts. So a mistake that's usually made here, for example, in sixths, is that um, a lot of times kids, will, uh, third graders, will count the shaded parts, one, two, three, and then count the unshaded parts, one, two, three, and say that there's three thirds. And there's not, you'd look at how many equal parts there are first, and then you count how many of them are shaded. So there's, we're looking at sixths, and there's three of the sixths are shaded. You have to know how many parts there are to know what the fractional unit is. And uh, it's either fourths or fifths or sixths or halves, you know, in that first exercise. Each shape is one whole. Estimate to divide each into equal parts. Divide each whole using a different fractional unit. Write the name of the fractional unit on the line below the shape. So we have a uh, rectangle here, and I'm going to make this into fourths. And I'm going to do it by just going corner to corner. There's lots of different ways. You can make up your own fractional unit here. You don't have to do fourths, and you don't have to do it the way I do it, even if you want, want to do fourths. So there's fourths, and that's four equal parts. Uh, this line I'm going to cut in half. Halves, and this is right about the halfway mark, right about there as far as I can tell. And here's a circle. And I'm going to do the circle in eighths. Eighths there. So we do a circle in eighths. It's just like pretend like you're cutting up a pizza and you have a pizza wheel. Everything has to go through the center. So there. Now I have fourths. And if I cut each fourth in half going through the middle, then I'm going to have eighths. Kind of missed the center there, but that'll have to be close enough. Anita uses one sheet of paper to make a calendar showing each month of the year. Draw Anita's calendar. Show how she can divide her calendar so that each month is given the same space. What fraction of the calendar does each month receive? So let's draw her piece of paper. It's a big rectangular piece of paper. 
and you have to know how many months there are in a year. There's 12 months in a year. So I need to divide this calendar up into 12 equal pieces. So if you think about it, this is a lot like the area models that we were just doing. So we need, um, we have a rectangle and we need 12 equal parts. We could have three rows of four, two rows of six, four rows of three. There's lots of different ways that you can do 12. So, or you can do it uh, one, uh, one row of 12. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three rows of four. There. Uh, each month receives one twelve twelfth. That's a really goofy looking goofy looking word. Twelfth. 